Okay, let's practice adding positive and negative numbers. And uh, everybody is at their own level in, in terms of where they're at in mathematics, okay? And uh, for some of you out there, this is not easy, all right? And there's nothing uh, that you should feel bad about because you're maybe just learning this for the first time or you're confused about it. Don't let this stress you, okay, in terms of, oh, I don't understand this. Maybe, I, you know, I'm struggling and I shouldn't understand these basic things. Well, this is, not, you know, not so basic, okay? But I am going to teach you this, all right? Uh, in a way, we're going to just focus on adding positive and negative numbers so you can understand this and, you know, really get this down. Now, of course, when we're dealing with positive and negative numbers, we need to know how to add them. We need to know how to subtract them. We need to multiply them and divide them okay so these are other videos we're going to focus primarily just on adding okay we'll take it one uh operation at a time so uh before we get going though let me go ahead and introduce myself my name is john i'm the founder of tablet class math i'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over many years i've constructed what i like to believe one of the best math help programs anywhere okay uh why would i say that well of course you know it's my work but you know i'm just kind of being silly um, when I state that, but I have probably the most amount of video instruction in my math help program, complete, full, comprehensive lessons. I solve thousands of problems. There's full video, uh, uh, videos on all the solutions to my work. You know, it's super comprehensive. Um, a lot of people have used my program over the years. So I want to offer it to you. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. So I focus on middle and high school math. Um, if you need to take a full math course, I offer a ton of math courses, but if you're in a particular math course and need additional instruction, um, so, you know, you can use my program in that way as well. Now, how is your math notes? Okay. Are your math notes good? Right. Uh, be honest with yourself. Well, if they're not so good in most math, uh, I would say maybe three quarters of uh, math students that I've, I've encountered through the decades, um, three quarters of them don't, their notes are like average or below average, okay? Um, if you take great math notes, you're going to do great in math. That's just a general rule of thumb, I can tell you right now, right? So take a look at your notes and improve. I actually have some videos on uh, math note-taking uh, in my playlist on my uh, YouTube channel, but I also offer uh, math notes, okay? Pre-algebra, algebra one, uh, algebra two, trigonometry, geometry. So you can find the link to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so here we go. We have three problems. Let's just do these three easy problems. And if they're not easy um, for you right now, I think by the time we finish this little video, they will become easy. All right, so let's just focus on adding these positive and negative numbers, right? So we, this is a negative seven, this is a positive five, this is a positive 12, this is a negative two. We just want to add these up. Now, the when uh, math teachers approach uh, this topic, you know, there's there's a couple different ways you can teach this, right? I can just give you a basic rule, set of rules uh, to say, if you see this, do this. I don't like to teach math in that uh, manner. Some of you like to learn that way, um, but I think it's much better to give you a model, all right, to, to relate to this. So the um, when it comes to adding, okay, and subtracting, but we're just focusing on adding right here, positive and negative numbers. I want you to think of these guys. I want you to think of money, all right? So that's everyone's favorite topic, right? So money, okay? Now, when we're thinking about money, let's do this over here. Let's talk about two things. So let's say in your bank account, all right? Let's say this is your bank account. And you're like, where's this guy going here? I thought we were going to do positive and negative numbers. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just, just kind of play along here for a second. So in your bank account, here's the bank um, and we're talking about money, right? So if you, let's say you have $100 in your bank, your bank account would probably say something like $100, right? Now, what happens if there was an overdraft, okay? Um, you took out too much money, right? And then you saw this in your statement, all right? What does this mean? All, right? All of you out there should be familiar with seeing a negative uh, sign in front of a money value. Well, this means debt, right? This means less than zero. Now, let me ask you this. Would you rather have zero dollars or would you rather have negative 20 dollars? 
All right, I don't know about you. I'd rather have zero dollars because guess what? I don't have any money, but I also don't have debt. Okay, if you have negative uh, twenty dollars and that's all you have, well, you got to pay back someone twenty bucks just to get back to having nothing. Okay, so I want you to think of um, uh, when you're seeing these positive negative numbers. As when you see a negative number, think of it as debt, all right? And I think of positive numbers as having money. So let's take a look at an example. I'm going to give you another model here in a second. But let's take a look at this here, okay? How can we interpret uh, this problem, okay? Well, this is how we would uh, want to interpret this. I have $7 in debt. That's my current financial situation. So let's just, you know, I'm like this. I'm like, oh, man, I have $7 in debt. Right, I'm pretty sad about it, but you know, I do a little chore or whatnot for uh, my best friend's dad or whatever. Like, hey, if you clean this up, I'll give you five dollars. Okay, so you have a seven dollars in debt, but you get five dollars. Hey, so that's pretty cool, right? So you're gonna get we get five bucks. So what's our current financial situation now? Okay, I had seven dollars in debt, but I just Earned five dollars. So now, what is my current financial situation? It is negative two. All right. Now I'm in debt only two dollars. Okay. So this is like owing someone seven bucks. Someone says, "Hey, listen, you owe me seven dollars." You're like, "Oh, all I have is five dollars." Okay. Here, take my five dollars, and I still owe you two more dollars. Do you see how this goes? Okay. So. This using money uh, po uh, for positive negative numbers in terms of adding them is a really effective uh, way, a tool that I found for students that understand this. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase this. So negative seven plus five would be equal to negative two, right? Now, if you think you can answer the rest of these questions, let's go ahead and um, apply what we learned. Okay? If you want to pause the video, just answer the rest of them. This guy down here, it's a little tricky. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But what's this next problem? Okay, 12 plus a negative 2. So what's the situation? Well, this is uh, a person who's got 12 bucks, and he's like, yeah, I got 12 bucks. I'm awesome. I got 12 bucks. But your best friend walks up to you and be like, hey, give me that uh, $2 that I lent you the other day. You're like, oh, okay, I got to give you that 2 bucks. Yeah, I know. Um, so here, here's your $2. So how much money does this guy still have left over, right? He still has $10, right? So 12 plus negative 2 is 10. So 12 plus negative 2 is 10. Now, again, there's rules, and you can kind of pick up on the pattern that, hey, the larger number here, whatever sign that is, that's the sign of we subtract this and et cetera. You can kind of see the mechanics of what's going on, but you just look at the results. And, uh, you know, if you think of it in terms of money, I, I think that's always a good way. To, it's just a really great direct model, I think, of thinking of positive and negative numbers. And it's a very practical one as, you know, um, uh, positive and negative numbers are in our real world. All right. They're in the real world. People are, you know, it's kind of crazy to think of numbers that are less than zero, like negative one, negative two, et cetera. But they have real world application, especially like with money. OK, so let's uh, talk about this next problem here. So we're adding okay, positive and negative numbers. But this time we have a negative and we have another negative. Right. This is a little bit of a special situation. Anytime you have a negative in front of another number, like a negative of a negative, all right. The negative sign in mathematics, oftentimes it's referred to, um, we can think of it as the opposite. OK, so what's the opposite of a negative one? You guessed it. It's a positive one. OK, we don't need to write the little positive sign, but a negative of a negative is positive. OK, this is technically multiplication, but this could come up. All right. So we might as well just address it now. So the opposite of a negative one is positive one or negative times a negative is a positive one. If you've already learned that. OK, so in this scenario, I can just rewrite this as four plus the opposite of a negative one is just one. And of course, four plus one is five. OK, so this is adding positive and negative numbers. Now, I want to show you one uh, model. We'll use this first problem here 
and that's using a number line. Okay, you might find this interesting. So here's a number line. Yeah, all of us should be familiar with it. We have zero in the middle, and then the numbers go out this way, and the numbers go this way, right? These are negative numbers this way. These are positive numbers this way. So positive numbers, if I have negative 7, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to plot this number first on the number line. So let's go to negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, let's call this. This is not going to be a perfect number line. But here is negative 7, okay? Now, negative numbers go this way. Positive numbers go this way. So from negative 7, okay, I'm going to go 5 units because this is positive. I'm going to go in this direction, okay? So negative 7 goes this way. And then I'm going to go positive 5 in the other direction. So negative numbers this way, positive numbers this way. So you start here. And now I'm going to go positive 5 this way. And when I uh, go... 5 in this direction, I end up with where? 1, uh, well, 5 units in this direction lands me at negative 2, okay? So that's a number line kind of model of uh, positive and negative numbers. But um, in my experience, I've been doing this for a long, 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 long time. Uh, in my experience, this this technique is, is pretty good, okay? But nothing seems to capture the interest of students and really make this, uh, you know, click as well as the money model. I've always found that to be good. I just think people are just interested in, uh, you know, money and its applications, and it's just so practical and whatnot. But I wanted to show you at least this uh, particular model. And, of course, we do have some rules that you can follow to learn how to po um, add positive and negative numbers. But I'm not a big fan of rules. We need rules, you know, like, hey, if you see this, do this, and this, this, and this. The thing is with rules, um, it's like, you know, like a flashcard, right? It requires a lot of rote memory, right? And it's like, okay, you know, you just memorize it, memorize it, memorize it. Well, you know, it's better to learn the concept, all right, and just be like, okay, I kind of know what's going on, instead of just, you know, using your raw brute memory to memorize a bunch of rules, okay? All right, so this is just adding positive and negative numbers, all right? So let's just quickly wrap this up. I'm going to um, wrap it up in this manner, okay? Again, positive, uh, when we're dealing with positive and negative numbers, we have to know how to add them, subtract them, multiply, and divide. I've already done a couple of uh, videos on these other rules, but the rules for these are the same. They're very easy, okay? And if you know how to add, then you can uh, uh, subtract positive and negative numbers because we're going to turn subtraction problems into addition problems, all right? So that's just a little preview of where this is going. So if you, if you get addition down, then you know, you're going to be able to handle all scenarios with positive and negative numbers. But again, none of this is going to mean anything if you don't practice this. you got to practice this. And if you're just starting off learning um, uh, positive and negative numbers, I could have positive and negative uh, decimals and fractions and all kinds of good stuff. you got to practice this stuff. you got to practice this. And, and, the kind of, and you have to do a lot of proms here, like, you know, like 20, 30, 40, 50 proms. Deal you till you really get the confidence, like, okay, I got the rules down, I got this down, okay. Uh, so, got to practice. If you don't practice, this is not going to stick. You're going to be guessing, and then you're going to be, you know, struggling. So, don't do that, all right? Okay, so, with that being said, you know, um, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.